Before we get in to discussing what was quite a divisive episode, uh, we're going to do as we always do and kind of look back at where we were and reset it up, reset it up for ourselves again. And we're going to get into it with our odd recap of chapter 22, Guns for Hire, directed by the one and only Bryce Dallas Howard. And we begin with an unexpected Romeo and Juliet story between a Quarren pirate and a Mon Calamari viceroy's prince that is broken up by Mandalorians for hire, Axe Wolves and Cosca Reeves leading the charge. As Shakespeare himself said, oh, did I wear a tentacle on your chin that I may touch your eye that's kind of like on the side of your cheek in a weird way it's kind of weird yeah but look it was it was it was adorable if you just didn't look at them meanwhile Bo and Din track down Axe Wolves crew on a planet where this is not the greatest democracy in the world no this is just Plazier 15. Plazier 15's democratically elected leaders Captain Bombay and the Duchess I'd vote for Jack Black and Lizzo too to be fair greet them and say that it's about damn time they showed up as uh, they need help dealing with their rogue battle droid problem. That was a Lizzo reference, by the way, Jerry. I had to, had to. Look I actually got well. that reference. <laughs> I feel like Captain America. I got that reference. <laughs> we get a glimpse into the future of artificial intelligence here, as despite battle droids going rogue and killing people, citizens are still refusing to shut them down because it means they have to work. Jerry, how many murders would you consider acceptable if you could just spend all day, every day in bed watching Netflix and old Star Wars? How what would your number be? <laughs> It'd be a lot of zeros anyway. After <laughs> oh yeah. A lot of zeros. Are we talking Jesus. like genocide levels here? <laughs> oh yeah, fuck it. You know, I do I do cosplay Palpatine, so there you go. There you go, fair enough. Uh, Tim Sluson, after showing great diplomacy, having spoken to some Ugnots to get some intel by name dropping Quill, is to show truly awful diplomacy by hunting out a rogue droid by literally kicking every battle droid he can uh, find until one is provoked, and then going full Jack Bauer on a bar full of droids who, frankly, were only too happy to help once he asked politely. Uh, they discover the head of security and secret, secret Dooku truther, C- Commissioner Hellgate, who's played amazing by Christopher freaking Lloyd is responsible for the Roy- rogue droids and Bo stuns him, making her his least favourite, DeLorean. Uh, this earns him- them the right to chat to Axe Grove security forces and the key to Plaza 15, while Sir Grogu, as he's now known, gets a knighthood just for helping the Duchess hit a quadro blast in her space game. As they uh, c- encounter the Mandalorians, Bo challenges and defeats Groves, but her forces still reject her as she doesn't hold the dark saber. But then Din is all like, uh, lads, have you read Harry Potter and they're all like uh, no because JK Rowling has problematic opinions on Twitter these days and he says oh yeah that's fair enough but still Elderwood ruins and then they're like oh yeah you should have just said that and now Bogotan is officially the main character I think and that was chapter 22 guns for hire (laughs) 